This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover dimensions in UT. I've created a simple builder room here with some custom textures to show you some dimensions to give you a guideline for your map. You don't need to follow these guidelines, but at least you have that knowledge to work with. So the first thing is stairs. If you can see, there's a stair brush here on the left hand side. And the default dimensions are 32 length, 16 height, and then 256 width. And that is the brush that you see here. This brush, I changed the step height to 32 instead of 16. So we'll see what happens there. Next, I built a 256 unit cube with a doorway so you can see how the game designers intended doorways to be in terms of dimensions. I've created a block here that's 64 height, 128 height, 80 height, and I used the player model so you can compare to how this would be in the game. I created a square brush here that's 128 units wide. And I also just put in a mover brush uh, to show you how that, how that feels when you stand on a mover. And I'll have a future tutorial that talks about movers as well. So these are the different types of dimensions. And let me go into the game so you can see how they play out. So here is the stair brush that we made where the steps were 32 units high. And as you can see, I can't get on this stairway. I have to jump. So this is a no-go. You can't make steps this high. This is the default brush, which is 16. And it's no problem. And it's fairly smooth. And here, as you can see, if I give you the side view, you can see that the length is twice as long as the height. So that means that go with a two to one ratio for length to height. And this width is 256, which is probably a bit too much. It'll depend on the map that you make. But I think you'd be comfortable with a width of 128 here on the stairs. Next up is the doorway, and as you can see, here's the, the player model. And this midway point would be about 128. So you would looking at probably maybe 160 units for the doorway. And let me just show you how that looks right here. This, I created a very simple doorway, which is 160 units high and then 128 across. So when I jump, my head doesn't hit the ceiling. And 128 is pretty good. It's not too claustrophobic. You could probably go wider, but it depends on your, your map theme, of course. Here's a barrel. And you can see that a player is able to jump this high, 64 units. But, in the game, you can't hide behind it. You're completely vulnerable. So this one is a 128 unit brush. And as you can see, when I jump, I'm actually going over. So don't make your doorways 128 units high, because then when you jump, your head will bump on the wall. I would go with at least 160. The next thing I want to show you is this cube, which I made at 80 units high. And as you can see, take shots here. Okay. And you can see that the player is completely concealed back here. So. 
keep that in mind as well if you want to make some hiding spots for your players that you need 80 units. The next thing I want to show you is this is a just a square brush that's 128 and it's on the floor. Now in game it looks pretty big but when you stand on it it's actually not so big. So if you're gonna make a mover like a, a lift which is over here you could probably do well if you did 128 because I'll just sh hop on this mover so you don't have a lot of room to move around here. Again, these are only guidelines for you. You don't have to follow them. Um, personally, my philosophy is I don't want the player to fight with the geometry of the map. I want the player to focus on fragging and dodging and chasing after opponents. So, you know, if you were to follow these guidelines of doors and steps, then it just makes their movement a lot smoother and they can focus on fragging.